Are you curious about the world's largest working cattle station? Interested in learning about new government policies aimed at enhancing dairy development? Feel a connection to milk, animals, and village life? If it's a yes, then you've come to the perfect place. Spanning from the US to Australia, let's get started. Mudanjiang City Mega Farm Did you know the largest farm in the entire world is bigger than 11 US states? This massive dairy farm is located in Heilongjiang, China. Mudanjiang City Mega Farm There was a time when it was occupied by the Japanese and called Botanku. The city over the years, due to immense development and progress, has created millions of opportunities for the Chinese. While it was occupied by the Japanese, Mudanjiang experienced tremendous growth. At the time, it was overshadowed by Ningan, which was a nearby county town. Mudanjiang was a city that was waiting for its chance. It always had a huge potential in terms of economic development, considering its climate and geography, etc. The Mudanjiang City Mega Farm is spread over 22.5 million acres. It consists of around 100,000 cows and specializes in producing dairy products. As compared to the largest dairy farm in the US, the Mudanjiang City Mega Farm is three times bigger. One could simply be blown off by imagining the sheer size of the farm and the fact that it produces 800 million liters of milk each year. Furthermore, dairy cows were purchased and imported from New Zealand, Australia, and Uruguay to China. The cows, instead of being allowed to graze on lands, are kept inside and provided a mix of fodder and grains. It is a well-known fact that China is short on land. It needs to be wise with its decisions to create projects. The same was the case with Mudanjiang City Mega Farm as well. Since it was an American-based model, it was not suitable for the Chinese system. In American system farms, the cows are kept inside sheds mostly the entire year and provided limited exposure to the sun. However, the feeds and resting areas of the cows are maintained and carefully looked after. Plus, the cows are milked thrice a day to meet the annual demand. If you are thinking about feeding and breeding, then be assured that the finest techniques are implemented and used to increase yield. As a result, in the past three years, output per cow has increased by 30% from 6 tons to 8 tons a year. Specialists at the company maintain the statistics and data to measure improvement. The introduction of Mudanjiang City Mega Farm has not only helped Russia with its milk demand, but it has increased amongst the Chinese people as well. Although it is said that the majority of Chinese are lactose intolerant, but even then the demand for milk is increasing. Today, the Chinese are concentrating on including proteins in their diet. The quality of dairy products produced by this farm is beyond impressive, as specialists and professionals are working round the clock to look after the cows and the breeding and feeding process. With Russia demanding a huge quantity every year, it is a matter of time when other countries join as well. Clifton Hills Farm Previously owned by a partnership of a number of shareholders, Clifton Hills has been purchased by Australian beef farmers Viv Oldfield and Donnie Costello of Crown Point Pastoral Company. The farm boasts a central homestead hub, multiple roads, airstrips, 24 sets of steel trucking yards, six flowing bores, and a large selection of farming equipment. Although the final price has not been revealed, the entire lot was previously listed for sale with a price tag of 50 million Australian dollars. Large farms such as these do not come up for sale from time to time, but it is not so common for them to be bought by Australian buyers. In the past, large farms in Australia have more commonly been purchased by investors from China, Japan, Russia, and USA. Buyer Viv Oldfield is well known in the racing industry as a horse trainer and he also owns properties in the Northern Territory and South Australia. He also owns Tanami Transport, an outback trucking business. Clifton Hill Station dates back to 1878 and covers 1.65 million hectares, which is over half the size of Belgium or the entire size of Fiji. The historic station was sold on a walk-in, walk-out basis, which included the sale of 18,000 head of organically certified branded cattle across the four pastoral leases on the Birdsville track and extending into Queensland. Clifton Hills Pastoral Managing Director David Harvey said, the sale of Clifton Hills is achieved without massive infrastructure. The secret is the large land area which allows cattle to be well spread out. The Georgina River, Cooper Creek, and the Diamantina River all flow across Clifton Hills. Rainfall in their catchment areas consistently water large areas of Clifton Hills, creating some of the best cattle fattening in Australia. Modern Dairy China Modern Dairy Holdings Limited was established in September 2005 specializing in dairy farming and milk production. 
Modern Dairy was successfully listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange on 26 November 2010, making itself the world's first company listed using dairy farming resources. Backed by the world's pioneered business model featuring the integration of forage grass planting, dairy farming and milk processing, Modern Dairy has developed into the largest dairy farming enterprise, a high-quality raw milk supplier and a quality milk processor in China. Modern Dairy's farms are situated in favorable geographical locations, close to a number of downstream dairy processing plants and feed sources in China. Up to now, 26 farms have been built with a capacity of 10,000 cows in seven provinces across the country. Nearly 230,000 dairy cows have been kept. Various pieces of land with a total area of more than 1 million mu have been signed up for forage grass planting and 3,300 tons of raw milk is produced on a daily basis. Dairy cows produce more than 9 tons of milk per unit. Modern Dairy designs and builds farms based on advanced scientific planning to make sure milk production is high and cost-effective. Since its inception, Modern Dairy has been employing the innovative production method featuring the integration of planting, breeding and processing as well as a two-hour zero distance by building modernized processing plants in large-scale farms and by building these large-scale farms in supporting grassland farms. This not only makes the organic integration of the primary, secondary and tertiary industries possible, but also offers a zero-distance, seamless connection between the whole industry chain and each section of the production process, which is kept under surveillance. In 2010, Modern Dairy was rated as the fastest-growing company in China by China Entrepreneur, an independent magazine published since 1985 and sponsored by the Economic Daily Newspaper Group. In 2016, Modern Dairy won the gold medal for the third consecutive time from Mon Selection. Given the increasing disposable income of Chinese residents, more and more Chinese consumers are able and willing to spend more on dairy products of better brands and higher quality. They have a rising demand for quality raw milk because there is still a lot of room for an increase in the per capita consumption of milk, and the introduction of the two-child policy will increase the number of consumer groups of dairy products. In the long run, China's dairy industry will continue to hold tremendous growth potential, indicating a stable growth momentum. Hit by various factors such as the macro economy, the dairy product mix will be further adjusted which will, in turn, quicken the pace of product mix adjustment and upgrade by major dairy enterprises. As the government is introducing more new policies to boost the development of the dairy industry, the positive results of these policies are expected to generate growth potential for the Chinese dairy industry in the future development outlook. Anna Creek Station Anna Creek Station is the biggest cattle station in Australia. In fact, it's the largest working cattle station in the world. It covers 15,746 kilometers square of stark South Australian outback. For an idea of scale, that is bigger than Northern Ireland, East Timor or Montenegro. The Anna Creek Station is located 160 kilometers east of Cooper Petty, South Australia. When it started in 1863, Anna Creek Station had sheep rather than cattle. The local dingo population saw this as an all-you-can-eat buffet, however, and the switch to cattle was made after flocks were devoured. The surprising thing nowadays is just how few cattle are raised on the property. According to the Williams Cattle Company website, there are just 9,500 head of cattle across that vast area. The annual rainfall of 140 millimeters might give a clue as to why that is. The Anna Creek Station does get some tourism, although many visitors might not realize they're on the station. You can also take scenic flights to the Painted Hills, a stretch of multicolored desert scenery that is within the station boundaries. Let us know your views in the comment section, and don't forget to show your support by engaging with this video and sharing it with your friends and family and clicking the thumbs up if you like this video. And for more such content, do subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.